Respiratory alkalosis assessment can be learned through the story of the respirator elk loser and assess man trying to find the best route down from a mountain. This condition leads to the blood values of increased pH greater than 7.45, shown by the up arrow pH greater than 7.45, which told the elk that he had gone too high up this mountain peak, as well as decreased PaCO2 below 35, shown by the down arrow partial pressure gauge CO2 less than 35. This condition can be caused by hyperventilation, the hiker vent who is giving the elk bad directions down. Brainstem stimulation can lead to respiratory alkalosis, the brainstem taking the hiker's directions, which can be caused by head injury, the injured head on this booby-trapped pathway. It can also lead to shock, the shocking of the brainstem. Lightheadedness can occur from this metabolic status, the lighthead guy who is also misled as he stumbled into pins and needles, which got stuck in his lips and fingers, as patients can also have tingling lips or fingers. An alkalotic state can cause transient hypocalcemia, which can present as Trousseau's sign, the truce handshake used to save someone on the hiking path, or Chavostek's sign, the chopsticks poking into his face. Anxiety can cause and also be exacerbated by respiratory alkalosis, which is shown as the anxiety bag. So let's review respiratory alkalosis. It causes an increased pH greater than 7.45 and a PaCO2 below 35. It can be caused by hyperventilation or brainstem stimulation, which can originate from head injury or shock. It can lead to lightheadedness, tingling lips or fingers, Trousseau sign, and Chavostek sign. Anxiety can lead to respiratory alkalosis, but patients in this state may also become anxious. Assess man is rethinking riding his respirator elk loser up this mountain peak. Unbeknownst to him, the elk was nervously afraid of heights and began to panic while frantically trying to figure the best way to get down the mountain. They didn't realize how high they were until the up arrow pH meter was greater than 7.45, and the elk was breathing so rapidly that the partial pressure gauge CO2 was less than 35. The hiker vent is a no-good prankster who likes to see people fail, so he gave them directions to the bottom, but the path was riddled with obstacles. The brainstem took his advice and ended up getting his head injured by the vent and got shocked by walking into the bulb. The light head took the hiker's advice and ended up walking into pins and needles, getting them all over his lips and fingers. The elk then took a look to his right, erasing all of his fears. He sees that even though this path looks more difficult, it is a road that is filled with altruism and kindness. It's the type of trail where truce handshakes prevail and keep people from falling off a cliff where chopsticks are attempting to feed traitors with a noodly snack. Only, they miss your mouth and hit your cheek, because chopsticks can't see. However, Elk Loser is still on top of that mountain, and has to use an anxiety bag to calm himself down. Will he ever make his way down? Find out in Respiratory Alkalosis Interventions. Now head to Picmonic and take the quiz. The quiz automatically sets up your daily quiz by using space repetition algorithms based on the questions you've missed or struggled with to make sure you study what you need when you need to. And while you're there, go ahead and check out the rest of the electrolyte imbalances and, and lock in everything you need to know forever. Play, quiz, and space repetition. Efficient, effective, and research proven to increase exam scores.